Hello, welcome to a new video. So I'm just gonna get straight into the build and talk you through what I'm doing. As you can obviously tell from the title, today we are doing a rooftop garden home, which is not something that I have done before. I was watching James Turner build like these apartment thingies the other day. Uh, and someone, like well, a couple people had left in the comments saying that he should do like a rooftop garden in this particular build that he was doing. And I was like, I kind of want to give a go at building a rooftop garden because me personally, I've obviously never done it. So, and I also am not like great at landscaping in houses. So I was like, you know, maybe this could be a really good way to like learn or it could just go really badly, but I think it went really well. I was really excited about this build and I think it's definitely one of my favorites so far. Um, it's The house itself is basically compromised of three floors. So you've got the bottom story, which is like the kitchen area and like the guest area. And then the second story is the homeowner's sort of area. So you've got the main bedroom, a bar, like their little ensuite bathroom. And then you've also got a garden where you can grow like vegetables, fruit and herbs. And then the top story is the rooftop garden that I was had in mind. So basically I just put a whole bunch of like outdoor plants and compromised them all together. And I think it turned out really, really well. Uh, I did put some stairs going up to the roof. So that way you can just head up on there because I don't think the stairs were gonna work well if I put them on the second story there just wasn't really enough room for it so yeah and then I did a little stairwell inside taking you from the first like the bottom story to the first sort of story I guess um so yeah I created a little stairwell for that and then yeah I continue on with building the top story with all of the plants I think it turned out so well I do have a lot of expansion packs though which do give me a lot of these different kind of plants and things and then also because I activated a whole bunch of cheats too uh, I will put the cheats in the description below anyone can use these you don't need any packs or anything in particular to use these cheats and it's not some sort of yeah it's not it's not like a mod or anything they're just like basic build cheats so I will put them in the description below for you because they really helped me out they helped me unlock a couple of items and lots of different art pieces and things because I do find it really hard with the the art pieces that they do supply in the sims 4 I feel like a lot of them don't match or they aren't nice or there's just not a lot to choose from and I end up using a lot of the same ones so yeah these cheats that I used unlocked a whole bunch of items a lot of them were art pieces that I did use um so yeah, just so you know. Uh, I also tried to do these fairy lights on the roof, which were really, really hard. I had to upsize them and downsize them and I tried to attach them to columns and then I tried to attach them to trees. And I was like, having a tree on the roof is like not realistic like at all, but it's kind of a vibe. So I can't remember if I ended up putting a tree on there. I know I put one downstairs, but I feel like I maybe, yeah, I think I did end up putting a little tree on there and yeah, I attached the fairy lights to them. And then I also put fairy lights on the the garden part as well, like the one where you grow fruits and veggies and stuff. I'm pretty sure I put them there too because I just love fairy lights. I think they're so cute. I love using the interior ones as well. Uh, but yeah, I use most of the outdoor ones to obviously lighten up so that way, like lighten up, but lighten up the area for the evenings and things because I thought it would be really cute to sit on the very top story at night time and like stargaze and like, you know, with all the plants around you, it might be like really cute. Um, so yeah, that's what I did there. And then for the inside, I really didn't know how I was going to utilize the space when I started building the house. Um, so it kind of just like came together quite nicely, I think. I kind of wanted this house to be like an entertainer's house. So yeah, as I mentioned, the top story was just going to be the homeowner's sort of bedroom area and the laundry and the main bathroom. I'm really happy with how the bedroom turned out. This whole house kind of has like a mixed vibe between the Jungle Adventure pack and the Island Living pack. So a lot of the bedroom is the Island Living and then I use the Jungle Adventure in the bathrooms and the kitchen, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a mixed vibe, but it's obviously like an outdoorsy kind of vibe. Um, I also don't know what world you'd put this house in, to be honest. I did build it in Willow Creek just because I don't know I like building in Willow Creek but yeah I don't know what like what world would be best for this house but I mean I guess it's pretty versatile like it doesn't really matter um yeah and then upstairs I continue pulling like a whole bunch of other different plants like the indoor plant options 
And I was really confused with what to put downstairs as well, like just because I'm looking at the screen and I was downstairs in that little front entry part because I had that big square with the front entry door because I didn't want the house to be just a complete like rectangle block. So I tried to make a little bit of dimension there and I just, I wasn't sure what to do in the outside area. So I just put like a couple of plants, a bike and like tried to make it look like it was like a veranda kind of thing. Um, so that I sort of struggled a little bit there, but I am pretty happy with it. I wanted to include a lot of windows as well because I wanted it to be very like bring the outdoors in because obviously this person likes plants and natural things. So I thought the more windows, the better. Letting a lot of natural light in as well is always really nice in my opinion. I love lots of natural light and builds. I also really like the bathroom. I think the colors and things turn out really, really well. The kitchen downstairs, I tried to create like a very large open living kind of kitchen. So the kitchen is quite big and open. Like basically the whole bottom story is like the kitchen area. Um, and the bar as well, I really, really struggled with because I couldn't find a bar that like fit the vibe that was really nice. So I just tried to do the best I could with what I had. And I wanted like a really cute bar set up with like all the bottles displayed in a cabinet, but there was only like a really small handful of options and they were all very like extra. Ended up choosing one anyway. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it was all I sort of had. So I just had to like make it work. But yeah, so that's not my favorite part of the house to be honest, but I mean... It's, it fits the bill. I tried to create like a sort of downstairs entertaining area um, that's like communal. So there is a little bit of an outdoor area with like a little fire pit and outdoor seating that I sort of created with like a big tree. And there's a couple of plants out there too. Um, yeah, because I obviously wanted it to be sort of like semi entertaining, which is why I also put like a, a spare bedroom downstairs just in case they want to have someone stay over the night or have friends stay over because, you know, if they drink too much, they don't want to like drive home not that sims have cars but you know just generally speaking um yes yeah, so i put the spare bedroom downstairs and then i realized as well that i needed another bathroom downstairs if i wanted the entertaining like if i wanted it to be like an entertaining kind of house because the only bathroom was upstairs and it was like the person's ensuite so i was like that's kind of like a little bit invasive so i put another um yeah another bathroom downstairs toward the very end of this video uh, with the outdoor landscaping, I tried to keep it like kind of extra, but also like not as extra as the upstairs plant area because it would just kind of be too much. So yeah, I tried to keep the same kind of theme with just like having a lot of plants together as a community. <laughs> um, so yeah, I I'm obviously like I am pretty happy with how it turned out. It turned out quite well. I feel like I definitely could have done way more plants downstairs, but I had already spent like an hour and a half on this build and I was like, I feel like the star of the show needs to be the rooftop garden. I didn't want, you know, the whole rest of the house to overshine the fact that it's a rooftop garden home. So yeah, that's basically what I was doing. Uh, and of course in the bedroom, I use my favorite palm leaf or wallpaper thing. I'm obsessed with it. It comes in base game as well, which I put in the comments of one of my videos because someone asked where it comes from and it comes from base game which is incredible because I feel like base game doesn't come with a lot of like cool swatches of things but wallpaper apparently really came through um and then yeah with the stairs going up to the very top st story I wanted that area to be kind of nice because yeah you're obviously going up to the nice plant area so I wanted to have some cute plants there as well and I also wanted the front yard to like you know look kind of nice because it was pretty plain so I feel like it worked out quite well a lot of the the debug trees are really huge which you can see me pulling out a whole bunch and they're like literally ginormous um so yeah just keep that in mind if you are looking for debug item trees and things like that um yeah I think I'm honestly really happy with how this house turned out because it's pretty much exactly what I sort of envisioned. I'm obsessed with the rooftop garden part. I think it looks so well, like all of the the plants together. I think it just worked so well. Um, I guess any tips that I sort of have for you would be to upsize and downsize the plants. Um, I'll put how to do that in the comments as well. Um, and then using like rocks and things too is very helpful. Um, obviously the more packs you have, the more plants you have, which is also a factor, but yeah, obviously try to do the best you can with what you've got. But yeah, on that note, these are the screenshots from the house. Again, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's like one of my favorite builds. I haven't actually played in it yet. So I probably should create someone and build a family, like put a family in this house so that way they can 
live in this house because it's really cute and I don't want it to like go to waste but you know anyway thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you thought of the house um I put it on the gallery as well you can look it up it's like an XO on the gallery so you can look that up and download this build or any other houses and things that I have on there and yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you again soon